Well, hello everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're back in Atlantic City on the Atlantic City Boardwalk on a chilly winter afternoon, and well, the boardwalk doesn't look that busy, but I think a little more action is going on inside. We're in front of Bally's, we're going to step inside of Bally's, go upstairs and check out Water Dog Restaurant. As you guys know, Bally's is undergoing lots of changes under uh, some new ownership, and a lot of those changes include the restaurants here. Walking around downstairs, you'll see that Bally's has a food court with lots of the usuals uh, as far as food courts are concerned. Also downstairs is Red Bowl 88 and uh, Johnny Rockets, a casual burger place. But we're going to head upstairs and there's a three main dining areas upstairs. That would be Guy Fieri's Chop House, Jerry Longo's Meatballs and Martinis, and of course Water Dog, which is where we're going today. Also upstairs is an area called Dining on the Sixth. It's uh, for large parties or when restaurants upstairs are at capacities like uh, Guy Fieri's Chop House or Jerry Longo's Meatballs and Martinis. Uh, I've never seen anyone actually eating there, probably because uh, those restaurants usually aren't at capacity. So uh, we'll take a look at it, but again, every time I pass there, it's just empty tables. Before we head upstairs, I just wanted to take a walk downstairs and show you guys a lot of the changes going on here. A lot of construction going on. They're in the middle of several projects. They want to do a new uh, front desk area, a new lobby bar. Those are well underway. Uh, where Harry's Oyster Bar used to be, they're building an indoor-outdoor beer house, which should be completed by this summer. And uh, lots going on here, so we're going to head upstairs. We'll take a walk, a quick walk down here. We'll head upstairs and check out Water Dog here at Bally's in Atlantic City. As soon as you come off the very long escalator, you come to Guy Fieri's Chop House, a place that I've always wanted to try, but I'm usually here during the week and it's always closed. They're only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays right now. And even on those days, they open at 5 p.m. So it's dinners only three days a week. And from what I understand, they have a great happy hour, but again, I've never had it uh, because of the hours they keep. So hopefully uh, this coming season, in the next few weeks, they'll be opening up a little bit more, and uh, I'm dying to try the place out and bring you guys along with me. And we just walked by Jerry Longo's Meatballs and Martinis, another place on my bucket list. My restaurant list here in Atlantic City is growing and growing. There's just not enough time, but eventually I'll hit them all. Hopefully this summer I'll get a lot of those uh, restaurants hit on, and uh, my list will become shorter. Not only just hotels and casinos, but restaurants around the whole town as well. But today, we're here for Water Dog, so let's have a seat and check this place out. Now, unlike Guy Fieri's Chop House, Water Dog is pretty much open seven days a week from early morning to late evening. They have a breakfast menu that includes all the usuals like eggs and omelets and eggs benedict and, and pancakes and cinnamon swirl french toast and some heavier fare and some light fare as well. There's a lunch and dinner menu. They're both pretty much the same. They start with starters like wings and crab cakes and those pretzels with dipping sauces. And then they have nachos and bacon wrapped shrimp and a slider sampler. Then they have salads, of course, tons of different types of burgers, classic sandwiches, specialty sandwiches, and lots to choose from here. It's a good menu. And of course they have a separate cocktail menu and dessert menu as well. I saw they had a patty melt on the menu, and it's been a while since I've had one. I really do like a good patty melt, and uh, so that's what I ordered. Patty melt, of course, is a hamburger patty with uh, Swiss cheese, fried onions on rye, and it's kind of like a grilled cheese on rye hooks up with a hamburger. The service here was super friendly, and I ordered a side of battered onion rings to go with my uh, patty melt, which I really couldn't wait for, and then it came. 
everything seemed okay with this meal. I got my battered onion rings and everything was on rye with the melted cheese and onions, but the meat didn't look quite right. This was no burger patty, this was corned beef. The waiter whisked it away, apologized profusely, and hey, stuff happens, you know, and he brought back my patty melt in about two or three minutes. And there it is, my delicious looking patty melt, some battered onion rings, and a side of Russian, and they were gonna put the Russian on the sandwich, but I always ask for my uh, dressings and sauces on the side, just in case I don't like it. Uh, I could always add it to my sandwich or whatever it is I'm eating, but once it's on there, there's not much you can do, so I always ask for it on the side. I tried the dressing, it was good, so I put a little on the sandwich. shortage of ooey and gooey melted Swiss on this sandwich. As I say a lot in my uh, food videos, eating with one hand because the other one's holding the camera can be a messy proposition with some foods and this would be one of those. The patty, which I ordered well done, still managed to be juicy, uh, the caramelized onions were perfect, and that cheese, well again, lots of it and it was ooey, gooey, and really good. And the toast, the uh, rye bread wasn't soggy, it was crispy. Everything about this sandwich was spot on. The sandwich was pure perfection. I really did enjoy that sandwich. Now I'm moving on to the beer battered onion rings. As you guys know, I eat one thing at a time on my plate or my tray in this case. And uh, we're gonna check out these onion rings and see how they are. A weird thing about onion rings, and if you guys eat onion rings, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. There are those onion rings where when you bite into them, just the part that you bite comes off as far as the onion's concerned. Then there's those onion rings where when you bite into them, the entire onion slides out of the batter. This would be those onion rings. And the thing is, I don't think it's something the kitchen can control. And I know you can chop the onions and turn them into mush and then shape them into rings and they'll be nice and neat that way, but who enjoys that? Anyway, these onion rings were very tasty. If you don't mind a mouthful of onion followed up by a shooter of crispy batter. Did you ever leave a plate or tray in this case this empty and tell the waiter you didn't enjoy your meal? Just for, you know, giggles. My unsweetened iced tea was $4 and the patty melt was $21 and it looks like they credited me the onion rings. I'm guessing that's because of the mix up with the uh, corned beef. That wasn't necessary, but I appreciate it. Everything came to about $26 minus the gratuity. And perhaps some of you were thinking, that's an awful lot of money for an iced tea and a patty melt. But, you know, you have to consider where we are. We're in a hotel and casino. Things are just more expensive here. And if I wanted to save money, I could have eaten downstairs at the food court and probably gotten about four dinners for the price of this one. But I really enjoyed this. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out once again to Deborah Camacho who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in my latest Las Vegas video, Italy at the Park MGM. Nice going, Deborah. So, what'd you think of the water dog? Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.